Sup everyone, I'm Female Tapu and I'm going to review episode 9 of Aoharu Kikanju or Aoharu Machine Gun. And normally I pronounce the X, but I had a couple complaints last week. People were all like, hey, you keep on pronouncing the X and it's silent. And I'm all like, yeah, I know, it's just a habit of mine. I have a habit of pronouncing the X, but I'll stop that, so don't worry. Anyway, so with this episode, we have it to work nice saying giving up is uncool. So that's all for this episode. Okay, catch me later as I review Dora the Second Arc and Charlotte's I'm Female Taku Sayonara. Okay, uh, let's see. What else can I talk about this episode? You know what I noticed? A lot of episodes within this whole past week of anime have been pretty slow and the pacing has been off. I noticed that a lot throughout this week, okay? It seems like all the episode 9s throughout this past week, they've basically been all like, let's see, I'm in a rut. What should we do? Why don't we just add a little something here and hopefully it'll work? But it doesn't. I mean, talk, having a whole entire episode of Kanai being all like, hey, you know, never give up. Because if, if you do give up, then you're not cool. But if you day with what you're doing, then you'll be cool. Yeah, um, that's pretty boring, and, um, we all know that within the past, like, three, maybe four episodes of, uh, Aoharu, pacing has been way incredibly off. We all know that. We've all been discussing that for the past couple of weeks, so I don't really need to explain that part anymore. But also having the fact that next week's episode is gonna be entirely, like, entirely about Hotaru trying to tell her friends and stuff about how she's a girl. <sighs> I swear. The pacing, what, what's up? What's up with the pacing? I don't understand. Can we just move along with the story? I stuck around this long. I want my story, man. <laughs> Give me my story. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, um... One thing that I really did like about this episode, okay? <laughs> I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was with... <laughs> Fujimon and Midori. Fujimon, he basically broke in to Midori's house, okay? And uh, then he woke him up early, made him breakfast, he brought his own apron. He brought his own apron, all right? Then he saw Midori is unaware and he was just like, <gasps> and, then, and then after he got scolded about being late to work, he started getting all flustered and everything, thinking about Midori and how he wasn't talking to him during work. It's like, Fujimon, you are weird. <laughs> Fujimon is one weird character, okay? I mean, I enjoy him, but that dude is weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. It's like, I think Midori knows, but he just kind of likes to tease him and stuff. Because Midori is not a dumb person. So I think he knows about Fujimon, but he just teases him and stuff like that. Like, oh my gosh. Fujimon keeps bringing that bike. Stop bringing that bike, Fujimon. It's not going to happen, okay? Sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that guy is crazy. <laughs> the yaoi vibes. Yaoi vibes. Alrighty, so now that is all I have to say for this review. I don't know when Aoharu's gonna pick up. I really don't. And I don't even know if in the end Hotaru's even gonna confess or like, you know, tell everyone that she's a girl and stuff next week. We don't know. We don't know. So, anyway, catch me later as I review Durara the Second Arc and Charlotte. I'm a female taku. Sayonara.